Today we will write a PHP program to create pages dynamically. I am already inside root folder. I have a dynamic pages folder. Inside that I will create another folder called sub. Inside that I will have a bunch of files, PHP files. Which I am going to access by using their names. I'll quickly write some two or three pages. This is css.php. This is cascading style sheet. Okay, we'll have one last file. Uh, csharp.php. Okay, remember these file names CSS, JS and C sharp. We are gonna use it in our index.php file. So again a new file, come back to our dynamic pages folder, save it as index.php where we are going to write our entire code now. Save the file. Actually we are not creating pages here dynamically. All these pages have already been created and stored in sub folder. We are only accessing it from index.php file. So we will have two div tags here. One for menu and another div tag for content. When you click the menu item the corresponding files content will be displayed in the content div. So let's see. Let me first start with writing hyperlinks for the menu. Index.php Home I'll copy and paste this three more times because I think we have three files in the subfolder one for JavaScript CSS or C sharp sharp okay we had CSS too okay save the file have a look at the web page we are already inside dynamic pages Order, refresh okay every link is linked to index.php as for now that's right some styling information this is the content section by the way have a look at it where the contents will display here Okay, let's write some styling and make it more usable or more readable because we have small screen here. So let's write some style sheet, styling information and make it more visible. Absolute positioning. Absolute. Okay. Top fifty maybe. Okay. Some two hundred pixels. Padding ten pixels. Margin ten pixels. Let me just write the same styling information for content div2 except that I'll
change its left property let's align it beside the menu not below menu so just some 200 pixels 250 pixels I'll change the background so that we can see the difference where the div ends where another div starts etc you may pick some more attractive features and make it look good I am just writing it so that you can recognize the borders and see the things properly I'll change the color also to red okay save the file now let me write some styling for entire entire web page there star means it applies to and everything inside the HTML document font family Vardana I'll increase the font size to 24 points I know it's quite big I am doing it on purpose oops overlapping I'll increase it to 450 the left 450 will do okay okay it's 450 now I'll inside whenever user clicks on these links I will pass the name of these files the files which I have already stored inside this subfolder that is C sharp CSS and JS I'll pass these file names okay wait I have to take a variable first I'll start from content section get get the past parameter and store it inside a variable called P now passing parameters question mark page is equal to the file name JS let's copy and paste this and change the file name C sharp CSS these file names will be stored in the variable P now concatenate the exact location of this file and store it in a variable called page so we have this these pages inside a folder called sub uh, let me put it in double quotes since it is a string sub slash concatenate it with the file name which is stored in dollar p dot php the file name extension remember don't put an ending slash forward slash there now the entire file location is stored inside dollar page variable if file exists file exists is a function which checks if whether the file actually exists if it exists include that page else display message what are you looking for question mark oh let I have to put it inside echo save the file and have a look oops what happened oh I, I have to put it inside the PHP tag save it okay, what are you looking for okay since we haven't passed anything 
it's showing what are you looking for we have to fix that shortly now see that our purpose is we are not navigating to entirely new page we are displaying the contents on the same page index.php now we have to take care if nothing has been passed that is if there is nothing inside page then echo you are in the home page if something irrelevant is passed then you should display the message what are you looking for now refresh the file home Oops. okay we have to check if there is nothing inside the p variable inside page we have something that is directory name etc so we have to check this condition when dollar p has nothing so this will do our job refresh the file this is our home page when nothing is passed this is our home page when something irrelevant let me type one two three when something irrelevant is passed it will give what are you looking for message i'll write my name satish such file doesn't exist so it will ask what are you looking for now once you click on this existing file it will display the relevant file please click on like and share this video with your friends thank you thanks for watching